Hello and welcome back to Rare Rose Online. Today we are going to add a few oil cars, I think, to our oil runner to the old Keebler. We'll throw, I think we'll go for two more. That should be five, maybe three if we can afford it. I don't know because then we're getting up there in weight where we might start having some sort of uh, issue pulling it up that grade. So, I mean, at that point, I guess we will just turn around and stretch out that grade more so than do anything else. Uh, we're having enough problems getting any other loads up there that we want that we have an excuse to 3% is was easy to do at the time, but maybe a little too steep for what we really need open up the old barn doors we're gonna need to fire up Betsy and actually use her for shunting just I think it'll be easier than trying to turn that train around and back it up and all kinds of other stuff to be totally honest I think it's gonna be easier just to buy them and hook into them with Betsy and we'll just kind of tote them over here hook them up to Keebler and send them on the way will be the idea so I guess using a shunting train for actually shunting cars for a change all right looks like we're at 52 so let's see we haven't bought cars for a while now so and number 53 okay that makes four do we dare go for six? That's the real question. I think we do. It's really what we would like to do out there. And if we have to rework the track to make it work, that's fine. Oops. Just about bought the wrong kind of car. Go. All right. And then we'll do one more, I think. Oh, just about to do it again. I, yeah, I gotta pay. Good thing we've never actually bought the wrong cars because it does reset back to the start of the line when you go to buy another one. It's not like you just, it's too bad they don't have a number, you know, purchased amount of them. Like you can just buy three at a time or something. Maybe down the line someday. All right. One, two, three. There we go. So we will pin that one, and we'll just pin back at that one, and that way they're all pushing back into each other. This one we can get rid of. The brakes, we won't need those. Slide back into that. Okay, that got pinned on the back. That got pinned on the back. This one is pinned on the front. Or, well, on the back. Not the front. Alright. Forward. Horse car come shooting out of the gate. All right. Nice to be using 
Betsy for what she's actually made for. I mean, I don't know, maybe this was just a little old school. I mean, I'm sure they used them for all kinds of things, not just um, shunting in the yard. They probably used them for for untold numbers of things, to be honest. So, shouldn't say what it's made for, because I'm sure this thing is just made to do anything that's on a three foot rail, is what it'll do. Back it up. Man, I think that short little wheelbase is sure hops her out of the track when it wants to. Loop, loop, loop. I don't, I guess I don't miss that. <laughs> it always felt like it was out of control, but. You'd think with that little short wheelbase and the amount of torque that's coming out of these things, I'm sure it probably, with any speed, does, you know, is a lurchy ride, I would think, to, to say the least. So, not that I've ever seen one of these in action. I have actually seen um, the Climax locomotives in action, and they are, at least from the operations I've seen them, Super slow. Alright. And that brick is off. Roll less power on the pushback. Perfect. Contact. That brick should hold everything in place. That off with the brakes. I like how this is one thing you sure do get better at as you go along. When you first start, sh you know, swapping these things out, you're like, oh, it's nothing. And you'll figure out how many problems you can have really quick just trying to hook up a few trains. Um, the, uh, the new player experience there is a bit of a learning girl. Oh, man, look at how little that is. Compared to the cars, I don't think I've ever had these hooked up to any of the little trains. That's funny. Oh, that's great. Shorter, smaller, and probably weighs less. Good thing they aren't going far. Good. Now we are looking for reverse. Bricks are off. Back in the train. Up. Looks like we have good contact. Sorry, got a message there. All right. Bing, bing, bing. And we are on the go. Back in gear. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, what's the problem? 
something's got to be something's got to be doing did we not turn the break on? no we did that eh, figures absolutely no effort in pulling these things with a brake on yeah you can tell that's that's weight for this little one gets it moving but it sure does take a little bit of effort to get it off of the go there too so <laughs> oh, that's that's good I like actually getting some use out of the locomotives or using them as much as possible. So it's kind of cool that we actually brought Betsy out of retirement. She has just been in the historical visitor center there for a while. Knocked some of the dust off. Put it to use. Alright, so... Now, what are we going to do here? This second one has to go now this way. And this one, hopefully we can get down to it before it will come this far. Oh, good, it did stop with the brakes. So we'll bring it up there. And then we will back these out for contact and their new their new home out at the oil field. Oil field, oil refinery. Generally I actually get parked out at the refinery, although they probably won't be anymore. They need to actually kind of get parked out at the oil field. We have a decent siding for them out there, so that's probably going to be their new home. So, being these are all old school trains, maybe that's why there's no graffiti all over them. They didn't have spray cans back in the day, now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> it's interesting to think about, really. I wonder when train graffiti became a big thing. Probably the, who knows, whenever they came out with spray cans. Kind of nice. Ours are actually clean, good looking locomotives. Alright. And in reverse. Oof. Taking some effort to get moving, that's for sure. Alright. Can we actually walk down these without. getting kicked off? Pin good to go. Right. Now we can bang it up. Like we're going somewhere, right? Let's go, Betsy. Their numbers are all going to be kind of key wumpus when we hook these up like this, but that's okay. I mean, we don't really care that the numbers are in order. We just have them all numbered by by the type of car is what I did. So, like, these are all in the 50s. Yeah, and if we somehow go over, which we won't, but I mean, that's just tanker cars or in the 50s that way we just know how many cars we actually have out there in case we ever wonder the only two wasted cars we have at this point are the two that are sitting over there and that random flat car now that's wandering itself around our track whenever it feels like it <laughs> apparently if you don't know what i'm talking about there if you check the video from Yesterday, I believe it's doubling the hill. I don't know if that was even yesterday, but doubling the hill has we had a phantom car come out of nowhere, 
driving itself down the track so not exactly sure how or why um, that is there we just kicked it off um, out of our way so I I don't actually know what happened with it as of yet um, sure I'll be finding that out when I run these out to the oil field um, because that's the direction we kicked it so last scene it was out there how it found itself driving over to the oil refinery on its own I don't know because a flat car with no locomotive shouldn't go far but it sure was driving itself around the map all on its own so that's you know I have no explanation for it other than some slight faux pas somewhere also known as a glitch but you know is what it is we don't expect perfection in early access either I guess first time I've ever had a runaway car though I've never even heard of or seen a runaway car so kind of cool it actually was caught on video because that car was definitely coming towards us and nothing had been out there for you know two days that car was just left sitting there so how it all of a sudden started moving uh oh let me put that down the wrong rail oops Like showing up at work on Sunday when you realize you had the day off. Not happening. <laughs> nope, 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 no. Nope. Just about hit the parking lot. <laughs> Said nope. Alright, come on. Hit your little cell phone up there. Brakes. Emergency braking system. Kind of nice when you don't have any uh, cars on there. You can just kind of drive it like a lunatic if you want. Worst case scenario, you're picking up a train or a locomotive when you rebuild it. I mean, you can just send the thing full yeet right through switches, probably flip it over and rerail it faster than you can uh, even get off and flip the switch to be real. If all you're running is a locomotive, anyway. Uh, that's the one nice part with the hand car. Is you can just kind of go down the rail full yeet, and even if you crash, you know, you flip off, grab the thing, throw it on the other side of the switch, and head on back down the road. Probably not good for the driver, but hey, since we're in Gumby mode, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, I mean, can't be hurt. Captain Indestructible fades through the wall, so that's always cool. You can take advantage of it anyway. Alright. That slabs back in there, and I think we will call that one an episode. There is shunting our new trainee putting it together and now we will probably be putting it to some use so thanks for tuning in remember if you get a chance like share subscribe subscriptions are free but they sure do help the channel have a good day